hello guys uh, so in today's video we are going to learn about data types in python so basically here we are going to take down two data types of python which is one is number and the second one is string so in number basically it is divided into uh, four uh, four kinds of uh, data like uh, one is integer okay one is long another one is um, float and third one fourth one is complex okay so first let's take down integer type data type so integer as we all know integer starts from negative to uh, head on to positive like anything can be an integer like minus one minus two two three four five anything including zero also both all the thing all those digits are considered as integer okay so let's see we have this number which is like one uh, so uh, so this this is how we declare some uh, integer like we don't have any kind of uh, integer or kind of type casting thing in uh, in python so we don't need to um, specific uh, specifically mention like what kind of data is there we can just uh, head on to choose any name of variable and can assign any variable to any data to it like here we are just mentioning number is equal to one we can also use number is equal to 1.2 means any kind of data we can assign to this particular variable there is no restriction of that in python like we have in java or other programs programming languages uh, though this has some disadvantages also uh, like uh, for this can introduce some of the bugs and all but yeah this is what we have in python we don't have any kind of strict type strict type typing in python okay though we can typecast our variable that's a different story um, so let's first take down this one so this is how we uh, initialize some kind of integer or something like that so there is another one there is another type of number data type is a number data type which is sorry. there's another type of data type which is uh, float so like number we have this one float underscore number and in float we have something like 1.2 or something like 2.2 these are called as float values okay so in number we have this uh, this single digit without any decimal or something like that and float we are basically having decimal values okay so next thing we are having here is uh, complex data type complex complex as we all know we have one a constant part which is a and one imaginary part so that's how we declare some kind of complex number so complex underscore number which will be something like 2 plus ij or something like that so so let's keep it simple and just we can uh, create a complex very a complex kind of uh, number using this 2 comma 3 here it is we have created this our complex number so we can just print this one complex number so let's run this application and you will see this 2 plus 3 a this j is something like i imaginary part so this is basically giving the structure of a complex number okay so this is what we have in complex number and this is a float and so we can also typecast this float to an integer also like if i'm just going to print um, float in bracket we can use float number then we can get rid of this point two and we can get a simple integer value what happened yeah what happened oh we need to put the int here because we are typecasting it to int, int no? so we have to use something like int here so now then it is going to typecast this float number into integer one so we can just see here keep your eye keep your eye there so you can see here it's like two means it is just typecasting it to int uh, form like similarly we can just typecast this one also to a float uh, float variable like this um we can just print float and in there we can pass the name of our number variable and 
just if you run this application you can see that one becomes 1.0 means it is converting to float variable okay float sorry and in here we can see something like a uh, float number which is going to print something like integer and this is a complex number so hope you got me next thing uh, let's head on to our next data type which is string data type and this is something uh, which is a group of characters okay which is called a string like we have name of some person which is john doe and in here this is just a name of a person and simply you can say that it is a group of characters okay and strings comes with um uh, comes up with a uh, with a lots of uh, function like you can use to make your life a lot easier like some of them are print name dot count and what does this count do they just count a particular character on your string like we have how many times we have o make sure put you put that in a quotes whatever you are searching like for now i am searching this o so just you can say like name dot count o so how many times this o is there one two so it should give me two now if i run this you can can see it is giving me two you can similarly search for j also okay and now if i run this application it is giving me one and that's correct and if i'm just going to put empty quotes in there it is going to give me the length of the string which is nine and that's correct zero one two three four five six seven mm, why it is giving me this um zero no 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 nine means it is calculating this one okay one two three four five six seven eight uh means uh, it is starts from zero that's why it is giving me nine okay so zero one two three four five six seven um i don't know why it is giving here nine it should give me uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah yeah i was right i don't know what is happening to me so you can just see nine is correct why because uh, uh if i just going to give here empty string then it will give me the length of that string okay and that's correct don't know what happened to me okay because this space is also counted right so one two three four five six because it's two seven eight nine okay so it is giving me correct okay oh do some work maybe i'm just lost it i have just lost it so so excuse me for that next let's print something more let's get the first character of this um string so like this you can get the first character of the string which is j Similarly, you can get two also. Okay. Yeah. Now you can just uh, check something in there. The string like J not in name. J keep that in quotes. J not in name. So let's check that. False, which is correct because J is there in name. Let's put something else. W w not in n yeah it's true because w is not there so this is uh, membership kind of uh, operation we are doing here okay next we can do uh, string slicing also like if you want to get only uh, first three characters of the string so how we can do that we can just put something like this in there and just clone uh, if you want to get three characters then we need to put here four okay like it is just going to ignore this last fourth index like 0 1 2 3 4 means it is going to get this four characters so if you want to get only three character then we need to put here three okay then it is going to 0 1 2 3 then it is going to ignore this one it is always going to ignore this last one okay so like this one it is going to ignore and goh will be the Thing which you're going to see in the screen so if you're just going to run this application you can see goh similarly we can use something like starting also like let's say you are put in here one then you know zero one then it's going to then it is going to start printing from one h and it will again ignore this n so oh i'm seeing right now okay so this is how you do string slicing also um 
like this not in we can also check something like in now if i'm going to run that it is going to give me false right yeah so these are the basic data types which you have in python so hope you like this video and if you have, if you and if you do like it then do share it with your friends and just subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any such updates so thanks for watching this video